Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 75 of our Grape Tour of the Famous Series. This is the continuation of our recent visit of notable individuals and famous celebrities interred at Manila Memorial Park in Sukat Paranaque. In today's great tour, let us remember, celebrate the lives and visit the final resting places of an international fashion designer, a former senator, and a broadcast journalist. Located in the southern side of the park along Bougainville Avenue, we found the final resting place of a fashion icon. Pitoy Moreno was born Jose Reyes Moreno on February 25, 1925 from Manila. He was a fashion designer and regarded as fashion star of Asia. His fashion design appeared in pages of international magazines where he introduced the local materials such as Husi and Pina in the world of fashion design. Moreno also authored the books of Casalan, a fashion book about Filipino weddings and Philippine costume, a book about traditional Filipino dresses. In 2009, Moreno was declared by then-President Arroyo as National Artist for Fashion Design in the absence of traditional process made by the National Commission for Culture and Arts. This controversial award for Moreno as National Artist was revoked by the Supreme Court in 2013. In January 2018, Moreno died as a result of heart attack. He was 92. Further down the road, we found the Barber's Mausoleum where the former senator was interred. Robert Zapata Barbers was born in January 1944 from Surigao. He was a senator, DILG secretary, and a police officer. Barbers started his service to the government as police officer from 1964 to 1991. A member of Congress representing 2nd District of Surigao del Norte from 1992 to 1996. A DILG secretary from 1996 to 1998 a senator from 1998 to 2004. In 2004, Barbers ran for the election as senator, but he lost the race. If those arrested are found to be in possession with what he's doing in Manila, I'm supporting it as long as uh, the houses that are being painted are really houses of confirmed pushers who have pending cases in court. In December 2005, Barbers died as a result of heart failure. He was 61. Located in the eastern side of the park, we found the final resting place of a broadcast journalist. Raister Langit was born in March 1973. He was best remembered in his TV current affair program aired over RPN9, Kasangamong Langit, co-hosted with his father, veteran broadcaster Ray Langit. 
In May 2005, Rester caught malaria disease while making a documentary in Palawan with his cameraman and DWIC reporter, which is known to be infested with malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Rester did not feel any symptoms of malaria until he left Palawan for Los Angeles while his two companions died within 48 hours. Raister died two weeks later on June 3, 2005 at St. Vincent Hospital in Los Angeles. He was just 32. Ang pinakahuli niyang lakad ay ang pagtungo niya sa Singnapan, Palawan para tuklasin ang sanhi ng pagkamatay ng mga tinaguriang taong bato. Pero ito rin ang naging sanhi ng kanyang kamatayan. Ano ang klaseng gabon ang dapat ibigay? Hindi nila alam na sila rin pala ay magkakasakit. Hindi sa kanyang pagpanaw natatapos ang mga adikain ni Raister. In the next episodes, we will post more grave tour videos on the continuation of our visit of Manila North Cemetery and Libingan ng mga bayan. Later in this channel, we will post videos of our recent visits of San Juan de San Antonio and Loyola Memorial Park in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next great tour of the famous episodes.